Hey guys and girls, I am Izzy Noodles and welcome back to Forgotten Remnants. It's a very short one, so unfortunately this is actually the final part. So, we finished the first level by sliding down and leaving the mine, and here we are now. So, in this corner we have another page. Uh, last time I actually wrote down what the pages said, and this time I forgot to do that. I'll just given a brief insight so I'll just rush through them this time. Page 4. They're all dead, he killed them, the boss killed them all, I saw their bodies down in the mines. Some of them he took to his chamber, ripped apart, removed organs and then started grinding them in that strange apparatus. Do you know what that means? I need to get out of this place but he has blocked the main lift. The only way is through the second one. <coughs> so um not sure which lift we would have come down, I assume the first, but that was obviously working. So sorry to have to read it all out, I, I did make notes last time, but I didn't get to it this time. So also in this area, if we stick to the left hand side, somewhere along the rocks, this bush here, in this bush, there is nothing, <laughs> but walk through the bush. And you've got a crawl space that you can climb into, and we've got a secret. Here we go. So, climb back out. And we've got this monument now. Whoa, slopes and slides everywhere. Okay, so we've got this monument. You've got crazy harrowing sounds. <laughs> And you got these guys. You can shoot these guys. So that's awesome. So just deal with them. May take a while. There's three of them. One of them jumps around the other side. Oh, he's come back. Come on. Did I get them? Yeah, they're all gone. One of them drops a large med pack. And in the water, there is another page. So let's have a look. I'll quickly read it out again. I didn't want to, but uh, I forgot because I don't prepare myself very well. So it says, this page is rather badly damaged. So that will be due to the water. A monastery here and no one knew about it even though we worked right near it for several months. There are mountains around the building complex, it's well hidden. Normally I would wonder why the, they chose such a secluded place but I'm so tired I don't want to think about it. I hope they are friendly enough to help me, I really don't want to go back to the mines to that man. Strange, for a moment I thought I could hear screams coming from beneath the ground. The plot thickens. Okay. So if you look around this area, you will notice there are torches on the ground there near that, well, I would call it a tree, but uh, it's not technically a tree, it's kind of a stump. <laughs> but anyway, you've got all these doors in this area, and you can only open one from this side, and that's this paler one here. So yeah, you can go upstairs, but I will ignore that for now. Come and kick this door open, or push it, be a not be such a badass and push it this time. <laughs> so you've got on the window ledge you've got some desert eagle ammos. And if we run over to the far corner we have another page. Okay so let's have a look at this one. What number are we on? Six. Uh, they took me to the infirmary to take a rest. The next day, their abbot came to see me. He asked about the mines. I told him everything. Strange thing, he wasn't surprised, but when I told him about the boss, his face turned into a mask of an old, tired man. So he has found us, he said to himself. So, they thought they were hidden, I suppose, in the, the abbot. But anyway, if we take a look around, some of this actually it looks charred and burned so that's something to bear in mind to do with the the story the plot 
and also while you're looking around you see the ladder there there is actually a hatch by that ladder so we can't climb it but if you equip your desert eagle and have a look you will see this lion head so just shoot him in the mouth and that gets rid of the hatch so we can now climb the ladder Okay, so there's no pickups or anywhere to go along the ledge, you're just making your way to the end of this ledge, jumping the gaps. Oh no! Gosh darn. So I did take a tiny bit of fall damage, but it's okay, it's fine, <laughs> don't worry. So when you get to the end, there's a door. That you, is she going to kick it? Yeah! She kicked it open. And you see a lever... Oh, get out of the way! Get out of my way! Gosh darn! So you see a lever at the end there, but we can't reach it because it's too high. But behind this tapestry is a block. So we're going to pull this block and put it in front of the lever so we can climb on top of it also pull it through the tables and chairs because Lara is such a badass. Okay so before I pull that lever I'm gonna have a look behind the tapestry because there's something behind here including a wall. We have a secret I believe that's secret five, I think. Okay. So now this lever is timed, obviously. So I like to save before our timer, just cuz. Okay. So all this does is let us leave this room. It opens this door up the stairs here. Autumn. Ooh, got my pistols. So there is a knight in this room. Where's he gonna come from? There he is. Come on. It's taken a while this time. <laughs> there we go. So there are spikes above there. And if you have a look around, you'll find a ladder on the side of this in the center, this bookshelf. There it is. And we're looking for a book, a special book. There it is. You can hear that that opened a door. It also got rid of the spikes, but if we have a look, this door here, that's that's not open. But we can open it with the crowbar and it will reveal the door that just opened. There it is. Magic. So now if you actually climb up because those spikes disappeared for a reason. Where's the ladder? I'm lost. Send help. There it is. <laughs> right near the door. So these spikes will not come back, so don't worry. Do not panic. There is this cog here. It's called a little wheel, but it has the same use as a cog. And when you come out of here, you want to jump over the balcony. And a funny story. I switched laptops recently for gaming, so... Uh, to record this, I've decided to do it on the old laptop which I started on because on the new one I downloaded the game and I thought, oh that's alright, I'll just play the game again, I'll play the first bit again. But when I got to here, this gap, whoa no, I did not want to do that. 
Okay, so I was in mid-story. <laughs> I was saying that when I re-downloaded onto my newer laptop that I was using for the gaming, uh, when I came to practice this section, this gap was not here along the wall. We've got our second little wheel here. And I was running up and down the wall, trying to find this crawl space. Like, why? Why isn't it there? And this secret that's at the end... I mean, personally, I would expect this secret to be in the hidden crawl space that I just got the little wheel from. But this wasn't here. And I was running up and down, wondering what on earth is going on. But I noticed that this wall was climbable. It turns out that um, I then remembered someone had made a comment on part one of Forgotten Remnants saying that um, there are actually two versions. So I happened to download the updated version after playing part one. So if you happen to play the updated version, that cog, or the little wheel, and the last secret is up there, along with another set of flares. Very interesting. <laughs> Also, you may have noticed that uh, when I picked up that secret, I got another set of guns. That's the Glocks. So, free stuff when you get all the secrets. So, they're very much like the Uzis. So, now I'm going to grab a torch. And I'm going to light it. There we go. And I'm going to come through the first door that I kicked open, and I'm going up the stairs this time. And there are gaps in the stairs, so do be careful. There's no gaps on the updated version. Okay. And what I'm going to do with this is lob it down there. Satan fire to stuff. I am very impatient, impatient, and this is infuriating. There we go. So, if we look at my health, I have only got a smidge of life taken off me. So that's practically full. So if you're kind of low, you're going to want to top up here. Let me just save, because I find that you do need to save at certain intervals. Otherwise you might just end up dying and you kind of forgot to save. So uh, you want to be all the way to the left and then just drop down. You see that? You see how much health that took off? So you've got this raised bit here, it's a bit higher on the one side. So come up the stairs and over here you have a key. So this is for one of the doors that you can't kick in and at this point I always have trouble getting her to take her guns out and I don't know why there we go even when I selected them from the inventory she wouldn't take them out okay so deal with him and he drops a large med pack And you may notice that under these tapestries there are lights coming from under them. So let's have a look. Aha! This is where we're going to place our little wheels. So we have one more to find. You can place them, uh, the two you have now, but I will save that until I have them all. So pull this lever to leave the room and this guy <laughs> jumps out at you. So he's made me jump quite a few times in the past. I think he got me. I think he got a shot off on me. So, he is now dead and we're now going to look for the keyhole. The door that has the keyhole. Here it is. And when we come inside, you notice the fire, and you might be able to notice just on the left there is something in the fire. That's our last little wheel that we need. So, find the block. 
which is across the other side. You want to shove it twice. Okay, and hop on. And climb up here. And there is a lever. And it's a crowbar lever, so you should have got your crowbar from the last level. You can't even leave the last level until you have it, so you most certainly should have it. Okay. And here is our third wheel. So, you can go and place them, but we need one item before we move on. So open this trap door here. And we have a small med pack in this room over by these shelves. And on the updated version, this med pack is not here. It does not exist. So to get out of here, you want to pull this block. You pull it twice, or as far as it will go, and then get behind it and pull it even more. Or push it, rather. And then push it up to the wall. Okay. And in this room, if you notice up there, there's uh, dark patches on the wall. That means that is climbable. So you need to find this block and pull it all the way along. <laughs> as far as it will go. so hop on and if you come to this wall and press action she will just grab that ledge and won't climb up so you need to actually jump and then grab when you're above that ledge I don't understand why it does that but you need to jump and then grab otherwise she won't want to climb so you've got a larger med pack and you've got this on the wall which we will need this is a crucifix and now just hop down and we've spawned some skeletons. So I like to, you can just walk out <laughs> and ignore them, but I like to just get rid of them. Just cause. There we go. So when we grab that crucifix, these doors open so we can now leave. And I'm now going to place the little wheels, if I can remember where they go. I think it's the last door. <laughs> Quite certain it is. Yash! Yash it is! Okay. So once we've placed all of these, the two doors, there are two, but I didn't go anywhere near one of them. They both open, but they both lead to the same room. So it doesn't show you that. But if you realise there's a door, or two, that we've not yet been in, you may guess that that's what happened. Here we go. This one at the end, and this one directly on the other side at the end as well. So you get a wicked ace flyby and if we come up the steps to the altar press action, it gives us the option to place the crucifix. And that raises that block. 
and we need two items to combine together to put into that receptacle. So we need to find them both. They are both in this room. So it jumped onto the climbable wall right here. And this jump can be tricky. So kind of sidestep, I'm going to save. And you're going to want to do a half tile run. Oh, there we go. And when you swing from the last pole, you want to veer ever so slightly to the right. Not too much. Yes! <laughs> Not too much, because otherwise you won't grab the ledge. So just shimmy around and drop. And here is our first piece of the gem we're going to place into the receptacle. So just drop down. If you are playing the updated version, there is no staircase here. And you will actually take a bit of fall damage because it's a longer drop to the bottom. I'm not too certain why things like that were changed. It doesn't make much sense to me. So uh, I I didn't even tell you what I'm doing, I'm just climbing stuff. <laughs> if you climb up near that door there, mm -hmm. there is a large med pack. So this is the other door that opened, that also leads to the, uh, the courtyard area. And now we need our second piece, a gemstone piece. So that's actually on top of that pillar there. And you can think, oh well I'll just climb up that one cheat and do it that way. No, you can't because you can grab it, yes, but you can't climb up. So we need to raise the block right here in order to uh, reach that ladder. Or at least to be able to climb up the ladder. So if you come to the opposite side and climb up this wall, we are looking for a jump switch. So that will raise the block on the other side. And don't forget you can press the roll button on a monkey bar to turn it all the way around. And turn around here because this is where our jump switch is. There it is. Oh dear. I'm not lined up with it. Am I now? A little bit. That's better. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so now you can grab this, but just like before, you actually want to jump up and then grab. I think it might be a failsafe to stop you cheating. So hop onto the window ledge. And this might be a place to save if um, it might mess up. Oh no! Just like that! Oh, are you kidding? Well... Oh, well I'm really petty, we know this. <laughs> I'm gonna reload. Alright. <laughs> so I actually died again in that space of time. I missed the jump switch. <laughs> So I actually will save because I get sick of dying. <laughs> this is a very hit and miss place to save, so there's nothing wrong with saving. And I was going to say, necessarily try not to uh, crawl into that. The words didn't come out right. If you can help it, try not to. I wasn't even pressing forward as she climbed into the gap. But in the past, because that's a low kind of shelf, it's a small gap, uh, she has just pushed herself off <laughs> the edge <laughs> and died. So that wasn't nice. <laughs> so be careful with that gap. That's another reason why that ledge is might be a good place to save. But now we have both our pieces. We're going to come over to the receptacle, combine our two pieces and use them.
So now we have a boss battle. I'm going to save because I hate these kind of battles. Seriously don't like this kind of boss. So annoying. This is also why I wanted to reload when I lost that health. Did he get me? I'm not sure. Where is he? Come here. It's hard to get him from the side. Oh, he took a huge chunk out of me. Gosh darn, I'm so terrible at these. Give me some practice and I'll I'll be able to do it if I keep dying. Oh, he missed. Wait, what? I must have blinked. I'll get him. I will. Oh my god, get over there. That was quick. Let me just... Okay, so... Oh, you either have to get behind him or put your weapons away and then he'll move. Because he doesn't like to move if you've got your weapons out. Oh, I got stuck. Come here. Doing pretty good actually. <laughs> this is only the second attempt. Hey, I got him. I got him. So he drops a key that actually looks like the racetrack key. <laughs> you can use that over here. We can go behind all of this stuff. There is a keyhole in the wall that opens all of this. Magic. Magic actual tombs. Awesome. And this lever will open up these doors. And I'm going to light a flare, not too sure why, because it really doesn't affect much of the light in here. We've got a last piece of paper here, a last page under this skeleton. Pick it up. Let's have a look. How much ammo did I use? Not that much. So it's nice that you get a load of ammo and I believe you get unlimited ammo for that in the uh, updated version. So where's the last page? Seven. He's here. The monastery is burning. I can hear screams above me. They have hidden me here. They told me he won't get me. Uh, he won't get here even if he wanted. It seems they are fighting. I can hear swords, gunfires, and these strange inhuman screams. Uh, next part is written much later. The screams have stopped. Apart from the sound of burning fire, I can't hear anything but silence. Is the battle over? When they are going to get me out of out from here? When? Okay, so that grammar is not so good. Basically, when are they going to get me out of here? The gate is locked. I have to wait. A note written at the end of the page seems to be the last. They won't come. I am trapped. Oh no. But uh, for some reason we've just had a boss battle. Boss battle? <laughs> yes. Uh, we've just had a boss battle and for some reason the first time I played I was expecting kind of a, another boss here. Like a, a wraith. But nope. You just open this. Grab its contents. So we get one last page. 
So that's what happened. Eggcard wanted to destroy the order, so he attacked when they were not pre uh, prepared. The entire monastery is badly damaged. Skeletons of monks are scattered everywhere. Some of them were raised by Eckhart to kill everything that moves. I put them all to rest while exploring these ruined walls, yet found nothing of any importance to me. Most books from the library were burned to ashes. Only several tombs about alchemy have survived. Uh, tomes about alchemy. Uh, the most interesting thing left in the monastery was the sword. It seemed it belonged to the first abbot of the monastery. He was also one of the first Lux Veritatis members. I took it with me as a souvenir. It will look good in my trophy room next to Chiruguay. Sorry, not sure how to pronounce that. So that last page is written by Alara. And now that door has opened. So we just need to climb out and exit the monastery. So... I've enjoyed this. It's very. It's uh, followed the theme of Angel of Darkness very well. I have enjoyed it. So uh, sorry for my rushed reading. I'm not very good at reading out loud, but I think I did a pretty good job. Ow! <laughs> so everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed Forgotten Remnants. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy, everyone.